For someone who's been in the cleaning game for a little while, I've had my share of experiences with cleaning products and tools. And over the years, I've definitely picked my favorites. And a lot of you guys know what those favorites are. And there are so many that I really like. I mean, it's hard to say I love because we're talking about cleaning here. But either way, I can't talk about all of them in just one video, but today I'm gonna highlight for you seven of my favorite must-have cleaning products and tools. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if I've turned you on to at least one cleaning product or tool. I first learned about Castile soap about 10 years ago, and first I thought it was weird, because I'm like, a vegetable-based soap? What? But then, once I actually started working with it, I saw how amazing it was. The thing I love about Castile soap is it really gets the surface squeaky clean, and you can use it pretty much on anything in your house. It's very neutral, it's very safe. It's a great replacement for dish liquid in the event that you want to use something vegetable-based instead of synthetic. And frankly, I use Castile soap to wash my bod in the shower. I love it that much. Now the cool thing about it is you can get unscented Castile soap and then you can mix up your own scent combinations when you're making your own cleaning products or your DIY foaming hand soap, which is one of my personal favorite DIY recipes with Castile soap. And we made a whole video about it, so I'll link that for you down below so you can learn all about the different ways you can use Castile soap. It's hard to imagine cleaning anything without a good quality sponge, especially if there's a bit of grime you really gotta break through. And over the years, I've been sent a ton of different sponges to test, and I've come across a couple of my favorites. The first one is this flat scrub pad. You can find these in home organizing stores and you can get them online. They are great, they're easy to clean, they don't really get that dirty, and they really scrub without scratching. And the second one is this non-scratching, non-cellulose sponge. The reason I like these is because they don't stain, they don't hold on to odors, and they're much easier to keep clean and sanitary. These are fabulous for doing any wipe downs or any general cleaning where you don't need to use anything thorough or heavy duty. You guys have probably heard me talk about enzyme cleaners in the past and thought, yeah, okay, uh-huh, and you kind of smile and nod. But I'm gonna explain to you why an enzyme cleaner is so amazing and all of the different applications for it. First of all, if it's a vegetable-based enzyme cleaner, it's really safe. Now, enzymes work a little differently than any other cleaning product. For example, soap has surfactants, which means it helps sort of raise dirt to the surface so you can easily wipe it away. Acids used in cleaning products kind of etch away at some of the dirt or buildup or soap scum, and that's how acidic kind of cleaners clean. Now, enzyme cleaners are a little bit different. Think about it like this. When you eat a cracker and you chew it a bunch of times, your saliva contains enzymes that breaks down that cracker and makes it easy for you to swallow and digest. Well, enzyme cleaners do the exact same thing. They sit on a surface, for a few minutes, so the secret with enzyme cleaners is you actually have to let them sit and do their work. But what they do is they essentially chew up anything on the surface. That includes bacteria, grease, grime, dirt, odors, pet stains, all that kind of stuff. And then all you need to do is clean it away afterwards. So it's a really great lazy cleaning product because the enzymes do all the work for you. Now, enzyme cleaners can be a little bit more difficult to come by, but if you go online, you can certainly find a few great brands. And the other thing I love about them is that they're natural. So they're safe to use, you don't need to wear any special gloves or equipment to use them, and they're super, super effective. Now, typically when you see or hear about disposable gloves, you're thinking one of two things. First of all, this hand is going somewhere where the sun doesn't shine, or, someone's making you a submarine sandwich. Well, there are a few other uses for disposable gloves. And while you guys know I'm not a fan of disposable things necessarily, I do think they're appropriate from time to time. And yes, while you're doing the dishes, definitely wear dish gloves, you don't need these. But if you're cleaning something like a toilet, or if someone in your house was sick and threw up, or if you're emptying the kitty litter or cleaning up pet stains, you know what? These are gonna make you a cleaning superhero because you would touch things that you otherwise would 
kind of turn your nose up to or feel really grossed out about. And what I love about these gloves, they're super easy to take off in a sanitary manner. You can toss them in the garbage, give your hands a quick wash, and you don't have to think twice about anything. Essential oils are essential to DIY cleaning. And when you make up your cleaning products, you want to mask some of those scents like vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, rubbing alcohol, because let's face it, they're not the most pleasant scents in the world. And even some store-bought products, they might smell nice to some people, but they're synthetic scents. So if you want to have the real deal, you can always mix essential oils into your cleaning products. The way you do this is you find a combination of essential oils that you love, and I've got a whole video about essential oils which I'll link for you down below, and then you just dash in 5, 10, 20 drops of essential oils into your solution and you get to cleaning. And the benefit of essential oils, not only that they smell great, but the real benefit is that a lot of them have different properties that are actually quite helpful when it comes to cleaning. Antibacterial, antimicrobial, antiviral, so on and so forth. And there's a lot of information online and even in the video that we created about essential oils and how they can benefit you when you're cleaning. So my recommendation is to go to a health food store and find 100% pure essential oils. Those are the ones that you want to use when you're cleaning and use those for your products. If you can't go to a health food store, you don't have one close by, you can always go to an online health food store. Again, you're just looking for 100% pure essential oils. That is what's going to get you that nice clean. If you're into making up your own DIY cleaners, I salute you, I am too, and that is one of the reasons I am so proud to have the Clean My Space channel. I feel like I've changed so many of your opinions on how to clean, but the problem is, when you make up those cleaning products, you need a good spray bottle. And guys, I feel your pain because ever since we started this channel, and actually when we had our, you know, since we've had our cleaning company, we've been trying to find good quality, reliable spray bottles that won't break. And honestly, this is the only one that I've been able to find. I mean, we've had to recycle probably over a hundred since we've started looking. This one I got at Ikea. And for those of you guys who have watched Clean My Space, you know that we've had this one since the very beginning. If you guys want, let me know in the comments below what we should name this spray bottle. I feel like it deserves a name, it's so amazing. I also paid 99 cents for it, so there's another check mark. So here's what makes a good spray bottle. When you're out shopping, these are the things I want you to look for. First of all, how does it fit in your hand? There's this little loop half loop thing back here that's supposed to comfortably fit on the back of your hand. If that thing's not comfortable, it's going to make cleaning super painful. The next thing you want to look for is a good quality trigger. So give it a few pulls and see how well it works. If it feels rinky-dink, it's probably going to fall apart quickly. You also want to look for whether the spray threads onto the bottle nicely because if it doesn't, you're gonna have leaks and spills and the threading is gonna pop off the bottle and that's never pretty. That's happened to me before. It's kind of unfortunate. You also wanna look for a bottle that makes sense. Is it thick? Is it gonna last you? Is it good quality? And you also wanna make sure you look for a good weighting. So this one has a nice bell shape. The majority of the weight is in the bottom. It's narrower at the top, so it makes it nice and ergonomic to carry around and clean with. In other words, this spray bottle is perfect. I'm really sorry, I can't tell you guys where to get it. I did get it at Ikea, so you can always check there. I remember in the 80s, we had this little dust buster and it sat in our office and every now and then we'd get it out. And it was the most frustrating experience because you had to use it so many times to get crumbs up. Well, vacuums have come a long way and these days you can get your hands on a cordless vacuum and this is one of my favorite cleaning tools. Again, you guys know that I hate vacuuming. It's like my number one worst cleaning job. And part of the reason I can't stand it is because I just find the vacuum so freaking cumbersome. You have to schlep it out, plug it in, it's so bulky, you gotta move things around. But with a cordless vacuum, it just allows you to zip around, do any quick cleanups. You know, we have cats, we're always cleaning up kitty litter. Anytime we're in the kitchen, there are crumbs and stuff like that that need to be picked up. And if we're having guests come over, we also like to give the front hallway a quick cleanup. So rather than having to get out the big piece of equipment, like the big kahuna, we just get out our little cordless vacuum. 
It usually lasts for about 20 minutes. It's powerful and it does a great job. And guys, the great news is you don't have to go out and spend a whole bunch of money on an expensive one. I've used ones that are a lot less expensive than the higher name brands and they work really well too. These are just some of my favorite cleaning products and tools. And I'd love to know in the comments down below, what is your go-to, your number one favorite cleaning product or tool? A lot of people use the comment section on our videos for research and help. So the more that you can share, the better you guys can help each other out. And I also learned so much too. I just wanted to let you guys know quickly that I'm making videos on my own YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Melissa Maker, and I've got the link for you down below. It's sort of the same clean my space approach, well researched, clearly laid out, but it's on other topics outside of cleaning like beauty, hair, home stuff, food stuff, all the other stuff that I'm interested in that I really can't talk about on this channel. So make sure that you subscribe. We have so many videos on this topic. I've got two playlists prepared for you to check out. You can also visit our website cleanmyspace.com to learn more. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.